we had left off, we had solved the golden butterfly. We had solved the uh, our first homicide. Uh, believe it or not, it was the husband. Shocker, I know. But we you know we're cruising. All right, woman drops her keys. Man comes over to help her out. Lead pipe. All right. Classic. All right, Johnny. We got another case of homicide. Lead Galloway. pipe to the back of the head. Can you believe it? Got it, Skipper. Oh, yeah. This guy's kind of a dick. Yeah. If I remember right. He's my partner, after all. He's my partner, after all. Don't sound too excited. New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Man, this guy is always so nice to me. They weren't even his prints. And he still confessed. Jesus. She was 13 if she was a day. Are you driving us? Dude, what happened to our car, dog? Oh, here it is. I was like, we're driving around in that lame thing? Yeah, Alright, let's get rolling. You did a Murder. decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not oh, thanks. Bad for your first time at bat. Thanks, Rusty. But don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. And no assumptions until we see the. Oh, well, you know I love my right. ladies. Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. Oh, what the hell? It's right above me. Okay. Is there a natural way up? Ah, here we go. Making a hard left here. Ooh, almost perfect. Get this out of the way. Just go easy, Phelps. Oh, this ain't right. Oof. Yeah, that was fun. Unnecessary, but fun. All right, let's. I actually don't think this is the way up, but uh, better to be safe than sorry. Reaffirm my beliefs. Anything to make Rusty a little uncomfortable. Oh yeah, this ain't this ain't the way. Phelps! Are you telling me this car wasn't built for a uh, thirty feet drop thirty foot drop? Alright, we'll take a right. You're right, this is probably the way rusty. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have doubted you. Sorry, officer, I did not know it was illegal to have this. Hey, get the hell out of here, people. I was gonna try and Now, drag boys, you. boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy has been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case. Are you talking about me? Down the sword of justice on the crazed sex Captain, aren't there similarities I'm between brand this new. murder and the murder of Celine Henry and of Elizabeth Short for so that matter? You don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators the world, huh? at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the City of Angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. What you say, sacrifice? Reports, gentlemen. That'll be over by the end of the night. I don't think you need a daily report. One report will do. 
Oh, it seems my stream has gone Detective, kooky. I was first on scene. All right, there we go. It's cutting up. Oh, you want me to talk to you or something? All these cuts. It's got to be something big, right? All right, you what do you got? Your Gonzalez? Not me. Family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. Under the pepper tree, okay. So what's going on over there? Easy enough. Can we uh, put a little pep in our step, officer? A, a woman's be been murdered. You, Actually, hold on, is there... Right, I thought there was a newspaper on that bench. Here she is. Alright, well, always start looking at the ground for footprints. Rule number one in Stopping homicide. Angle in the Henry case. If you see the feet, in the press? you've sure got was. your first piece of meat for the case. Was there in the story. Ugh. Oh, Jesus. She's naked. This is, you know, believe it, this is the second woman this week. It's been totally naked. Now, all right, time to get our pay for the week. We got five dollars. Pocket that. The motive was robbery. Why not take the money? Ah. Uh, probably wasn't. All right. Well, you can take it. Oh, well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Sure. That's I how you say it. Parent Teachers Association. Wow. Bet she wears that badge for pride. All right. Let's put let's put the purse down. And into our bag. All right, hold on. I'll get to the I'll get to the woman in a second. It actually doesn't look like there's a ton interesting here. No, we know her name. Oh Jesus. Right? Looks like, like she's been crucified. Up. It does at first, but that would leave Looks a like we disagree. Risk too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Yeah, that's not a bad assumption. Alright. As usual, she's been stepped on. What's this mark? A cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. This actually looks like very similar to another case we did. I think it was traffic, though. What size? Size eight? If it's size eight, I'm gonna swoon. We don't know. Jesus, stop holding your hand. She's not warm for you, pal. She's not warm for anybody. Let's look at that face. Look at your mark. Wow. Very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. All right, we good? How low can I go, actually? This is as low as it gets. All right. Detectives, R&I says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. what I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? Ew, that was weird. Am I missing something? I guess I need to talk to her. Oh, how polite of you. To step over the body. I don't think I found all the clues. Is it this bottle? It's always the bottle. Do I just need to talk to you? Any ideas? Ignore the reporters. Just get the juice from the reporting officer in the corner. I actually didn't want to talk to you. I'd like to talk to him. Similar. There we go. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, mm. Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stuck. <laughs> Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. Ooh, size, shoe size eight. You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation is the cause of death. I need to do further tests for semen. Ah, Angry Jesus. boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane.
Alright, I'm still missing something. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. I will find it. Can we discuss this later? No. Is it something on her? Oh, wait, no, there's straight up scratch. Oh, we don't Find care anything about anything interesting? Any of this. No, I guess not. What about the arm? Is that is that something I'm missing? She's got like a scratch on her arm. Unless I totally I mean like I didn't hear the uh, classic music that tells me I'm done. Find anything oh. interesting? No, I'm still still working this. Jesus. Put the hand down, Phelps. Jesus. I hate looking at the face because they make this, like, this crunching noise. He's not even wearing gloves, contaminating the hell out of this crime scene. I don't think it's anything on the body. There's just got to be something on the ground I'm missing. Catch all the good All right, well, time to just canvas, I guess. Yo, you know something? I need to get back to it, Phelps. Officer? You spoken to Carruthers yet? Who? Hey! Find anything buddy, interesting? Trying to work here, got me? Who the hell's Carruthers? Nice hop. I feel like I'm missing something. One more sweep and I'm headed back to the lab. You've got all you need here, Phelps. Do I? Do I really? I do feel like I'm missing a clue. Alright, I'm just gonna re-canvas real quick, okay? My apologies if this is a... I have uh, seen it all. If you think this is a waste, but... Nothing in this purse. I've seen it all. It's just usually incredibly distinctive when I'm done with all the clues. The audio keeps going out. It's just weird. Or the music does. I mean, maybe that's it, but it's weird. Ah, uh, whatever. We miss a clue, we miss a clue. We miss a clue, we don't solve the murder. Whatever, it happens. Alright, where'd I park my car? Yeah, you guys can going on over there. Go home. Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. Ah, well. Where'd I... the hell's my car at? Uh, any of you guys seen a brown... Is that it? That's a cop car. You know what, it's right on the minimap. If you can believe it. And I totally missed it. I'm tempted to have this guy drive, actually. Ah, uh, you know what, nah, I'll get there faster. Gotta learn this town. Man, do you think your detectives still dress like this? Oh, you're already in the car. Well, thanks for offering the drive, pal. Alright, let's roll. Oh, people. I'm trying to perform police work here. There still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, then. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. Think of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Dang. Well, around about my third, as we imagine. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? Then don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. Phelps is, uh... He didn't talk about his family much, honestly. I, don't, I wonder if we'll actually learn anything about his family at all. I feel like probably no. I feel like they exist in in mind only. 
as ancil auxiliary characters only. Because he never brings it up. Man, an officer just honk at me? Don't you know who I am? Detective Cole Phelps. I have to keep saying his name because I forget it, like, incredibly often. Oh, well, let's roll, boys. Ooh. You know, putting the siren on might remove the element of surprise when you're hitting lines. That's why I don't put it on, buddy. Plus the siren's too loud in my ears, you know. I like to hear music well. Woohoo, I thought someone was gonna give me a crime. And god god no, not after last time. Woof. Almost sideswiped somebody. P pulled out just in the nick of time. She's out of the way! Fine. The She's... On the loose. She's fine. And he's so dramatic. Alright, we've made it. This is a home of a loving marriage for sure. What is this? this is like a hobo jump joint? They got a fire. What is this? So on. Sir, let me um disparage your home first before I go in there. Look at this. Is this, you know, barbecue? Alright, sir. I mean, honestly, this place is a dump. On the outside, but maybe you work too much and you can't hire a gardener. Is that a woman in here? Open the hell up, dog. Got places to be murderous to catch. It might be you. You're a woman. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. Oh, you're a child. I'm looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Well, I got questions. Can we come in? You're under suspicion for a... so. Well, ask for some badge, girl. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? Yeah, I've got some questions for you later, you lying snitch. Man, I can't believe she just let two strange men in our house because they said they were detectives. We're going to have a look around. Wow. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. Ah, a man who loved him some violins. Nothing interesting about this? All right. Could be the murder weapon, but who am I? Your partner will explain everything when he gets back, okay? There's nothing to worry about. All right, we've got some kind of... Uh, Not everything here is going to be relevant. No, open it up, dog. It's a book. I actually thought that would be relevant. All right, if not... Oh, I guess I can't pick no up anything but this. It's unbelievable. He didn't, he didn't even open it up. Shoddy detective work at best. Is it the child's room? This is a nice room. All right, we got, we got a ring. It's the ring that's no missing. No sign of a wedding ring. Probably because they're she's wearing it. She was wearing it, detective. Wow, another jewelry box. <gasps> Empty as Elgin well. Wristwatch, probably the same one snatched from her body. Wow, two for two. Is that it? I suppose that's it. Boots, size eight. Actually, don't know what the size of the shoe was, but. Oh, small men's shoes. Size 8, I called it. Size 8. I fit. Fits the MO to a T. Alright, kid. Are you a size 8 in men's? Oh, hold on. Whoops. Hold on. Sorry, kid. Oh, I didn't even check out the kitchen. What's this note? Not much help. Don't forget mom's birthday. No, what's today's date? Murdered on her birthday? You don't think that's a coincidence? 
All right, I'm sorry. Uh, do you wear a size eights men's kid? So what next? All right, talk. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. Well, she's dead, for starters. Sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but... Your mother, your mother is, is dead. dead. You've got a hell of a bedside manner, Cole. <laughs> I don't blame you, kid. Now, did you Maybe kill you her? answer a few questions for us? Like, do you wear a size Hi. 8 men's boot? Last con when was your when last did you last see your, see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. She took you? She was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. You lying to me? I honestly can't tell. No, I don't think she is. I don't think she is. Well, let's look at what I know. None of this stuff has anything to do with what she's saying. Her mom just died. I don't think she's lying. She's looking at me dead in the eye for, for good long bits. All right, good copper. And oh, I was wrong. She you? was lying to me as well. Of course. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get another shot at this. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring. A ring and a watch. watch. Gucci or nah? I never paid much attention to that stuff. Oh, now I know your tell, sister. Even though this... I don't know if she's lying, honestly. I could use a little help. Honestly, good. Look at those eyes. Those look like the eyes of a girl who just lost her mom, you know? Who am I to say? I'm tempted to... Alright, here, here's Daddy what I'll do. Be on his way. No, 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 no. Daddy's not coming back. Just like her mom. Just like your mom. She's leaving you behind. Oh, wow. I can't accuse her? Shock. Color me shocked. Alright, back. Bad cop. You seem reluctant to talk about her jewelry. Son of a gun. It's a touchy subject with Daddy. He thought she wasted too much money on her appearance. Your All mom right. and dad are oh, for two. happily married? What do you Well, think? I mean, look at our house. Are. They weren't happy, were they? There we go. Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. Yeah, but just on her face, you she know, not, she not, not too terrible. Did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. Oh, that's cute. And he always wore her golden butterfly. I know this is a tough time for you, Michelle, but you should really try and help the police. Just the man hey, we wanted to see. What gives? Daddy, the police are room here. For Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What? Did... Yeah, you got to do a better but, job but hiding it. We have some cool. questions that we would like to ask you. Oh, nice. Back-to-back -back sure, yeah. interviews. Yeah, I'll do my best. Found? What was his instinct to go to found, not murdered? All right. Let's talk about your alibi. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Oh, you're a lying piece of crap, dog. You should what a beautiful way to wear that, affair, or if there's something going word that on. country. Question. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Yeah, you, no, I'm not saying. Your daughter's straight up saying you picked her up. Uh, that you didn't did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? 
Okay, I went out for a while. I was I was driving around. It's my way of why lie. Things. Why lie about it? All right, let's talk about your history of freaking violence. Your I know wife you beat was your wife. beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not that's not true. God damn it! Oh, buddy, I can history go two for two. Your daughter ratted you out hardcore. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. Let me actually move this down, folks. So you can see the uh, good cop, bad cop. Probably a wise thing I maybe should have done earlier, but what are you going to do? There, is a little better. Probably a little better. Um... Wait, wait, wait. We don't have a freaking history of violence? Oh, yeah, the brooch. Eh, I'm sure I can go with this. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to... Oh, yeah, I remember. Right? Dresses, uh -huh. uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn so crazy. So I decked her. Do I look like a Rockefeller? So I put Nobody all the rings the she game. bought me on my finger and I decked her. Anyways, you wear a That's size eight. You wear, Mr. Muller. Why do you ask? Why do I ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Buddy, why are you lying to me? Nines, I think. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Like repeatedly. Why would I lie to you at a time like this? I don't know. You've done it two times before. Call me crazy, but I've seen your size eight work boots. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> so lie to the cops. You know, small feet, small... Small oh, shoes. My experience. You see a lot of dicks, Rusty? Alright, let's see if I can catch you in another lie. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Huh. Um... I feel like I've been over this before. I kind of want to use intuition. I, I think I just need to bad cop him. Did your wife ever go out yeah, by herself to bars, nightclubs? No. Other men? Other what, Johns? What are you suggesting? You're suggesting my wife's loose? She's a floozy, yeah. <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing. She gets paid your for Your daughter sex. said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. All right. Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Yes. That's right. Wait, what? Your wife went to pick up Michelle? Did I <laughs> did I break this game by not answering these questions in order? There's no way. Bad cop him. What happened? Oh man, it was almost theories? five for five. Because we're starting to like you for this. The car park by the school is kind of dark. Uh, maybe somebody jumped through there. Did you try the parking lot? Mm, no, but uh, getting well, hostile is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm That's no my murderer. Job. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on it. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller. So I'm giving you a break. Three don't for make five. Me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. Okay, <laughs> this is going well. Should go back in there and bust his ass. I think he's just One, a lazy dog. His alibi. Check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in LA. Three, we have no evidence tying. Is that true, my LA suburbanites? Hello, detective. There's always that one neighbor, dog. 
Hello? Do I need to actually call somebody first? Hold on. Hold on, I got a pr important phone call. Will you Did look I... at this clown? Felt I'm an officer one, two, of the four, law, seven. sir. How could I help, detective? This guy must have I need an address on a Belmont high school. Checking for you, detective. Dude, you could Belmont have just Googled high. that. <laughs> West Second Street. He couldn't have. It didn't Thanks. exist yet. I'm not a dummy. I'm a detective. From the future. All right. That'll come in handy. Relax. I'm an officer. All right, ma'am. You gonna tell me some good stuff? Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Mahler put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I can't oh, let me check that out. Guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Oh, dude, we haven't even left yet, buddy. Step away from the incinerator. Are you insane? Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Oh. Ooh. All right. You're dumb as hell. And you're fat. Boom. I put on the nitrous. You're stupid, man. You're burning your shoe. You're an idiot. 